Hello and welcome to the Every Other Saturday podcast for episode 32, which, to be honest, isn't really a... Nothing happened this weekend, did it really? Quite a quiet weekend in terms of, in terms of Rangers, uh, whatever else was happening in Scotland at the time. Um, aye, so no, no much to talk about today. Uh, apart from, like, what is that, the 55th league title is that that's won now? Um, uh, I think it's the 50th Just Just that small thing that happened... Um, during the weekend there so we'll, we'll be here to talk we'll be here to talk about that for you um and this and this podcast it's totally just one take uh we're going to talk about whatever happened uh, whatever comes to our, our mind uh, in this one so if you like it uh subscribe to the channel like the video um and follow the socials that'll be on the screen we've also got a giveaway running over on the twitter page if you want to get involved in that i'll put the the link to that in uh, the description it finishes uh, at midnight uh, depending on the response and that uh, that we're getting up until then it's currently finishing at, n- at midnight and that's for a, a champions home kit uh, so if if you want to get win one of them go over to twitter retweet um tag a mate and that's that's you you're sorted um uh but we have to get into the weekend's events then um saturday we were on here i, I feel like that match reaction we done was like an eternity ago um uh, feels like absolutely ages ago since we beat st Mern. it also feels like there was we weren't even really taking into account anything about that game apart from getting the three points um and then that's when it started party time the best time son the best time party time um as you say mate it was just about the three points. I said to you, it was just about getting the job done, mate. Just what an incredible scene, do you know what I mean? Just over the weekend, the players are up after the game straight away, they know. And it's just awesome to see that your players are invested in your club as much as we are, do you know what I mean? That's what I love. I love when players are just about the jersey, do you know what I mean? No, it's just fantastic. It represents the manager, that's what I'll say there. Do you know what I mean? Gerard's all about, when it, back in his Liverpool days, do you know what I mean? It was all about being the, just a local lad for Liverpool putting the shirt on with pride, you know what I mean? And you, when he puts that, that suit and that tie on, we know he wants to put the training gear on, but it's a suit and tie, son. We do it proper up here. Um, we know that, he, do you know what I mean? His teams are going to represent, proper represent us, do you know what I mean? So, mate, I don't know. I'm just, as you said, it's a one take. I am just, I'm still ecstatic, mate. I honestly, I feel no. like it's just, it's going on, do you know what I mean, Conto- continuously. Aye, and that's what you love to see, eh, obviously. <laughs> Ever been about us and great achievements that we've made, mm-hmm. uh, great videos of the players, the club, the management, the fans, all of it um, over the weekend has been amazing to see. But I feel like we'll have to sort of touch on a negative point to, to, before we get into everyone else, as obviously uh, the the mass gatherings of fans and all that. You obviously you understand it. Um, on a normal year, I would have probably been there, so would you have been. Uh, mm-hmm. But it was. It wasn't going to not happen, um, mm. and obviously, Selic, if they won ten in a row, it was going to happen as well. So you've had to look at it with that perspective. Like no matter who won the league, it was there was going to be mass parties, whatever. Um, I just I never wanted something like this to negatively affect the club, and it seems like that. <clears throat> Sorry, at the at the current moment in time, where it's all on the news about Rangers fans breaking lockdown rules memorial benches and all that obviously i don't condone like that happening that's obviously not on for anything to happen you know what i mean but uh, you have to take into account that this is 10 years in the making obviously uh, mm-hmm. but i i just i never wanted to really bring um negativity towards the club for such a, an amazing achieve, achievement over the weekend i don't know about yourself listen um i feel like you've said there do you know what i mean but see at the same time you know it was you know what's happening, do you know what I mean? I, I honestly, I can't either. Obviously, as you said, normal year, a hundred percent. What's happened, mate? Obviously, in a, a different time period. What's going on? Do you know what I mean? Listen, like it's ten years of hot, and you're only going to stop fans for celebrating a moment like that. Do you know what I mean? Just the, I can't even. I don't know, mate. I can't get into it. This is just. This boils my blood a bit, mate. It's just. Do you know what I mean? See this government seat. To be honest with you. It can go and throw, do you know what I mean? Toff at the moon for me, do you know what I mean? That mad education boy, what's his name? John Swinney, that baldy yeah. bastard. Aye, that baldy bastard, he's educational. You stick to education because I didn't learn anything at school, son, do you know what I mean? Oh, well, I was <laughs> thinking about it was three o'clock on a Saturday, do you know what I mean? So this is what, do you know what I'll say at all, mate, when it comes to this kind of thing? 
a hundred percent shouldn't we shouldn't hang me or what have you in a pandemic. But see at the end of the day, as I said, ten years of heart and all that. See if football wasn't on, the suicide rate for young men would be through the fucking roof, man. Do you know what I mean? See if this is what I'm on about. This is what lads, do you know what I mean? Like you, me, myself, mate. This is our this is our happiness, this is our escape, do you know what I mean? This is our places, Rangers, do you know what I mean? It's our club. Um obviously, as you say, like smashing up memorial benches and things like that. Nobody the fuck you're doing that for, do you know what I mean? See if there's mm-hmm. a date staying that for, doing that for, do you know what I mean? Let's have a bit of hang with the world, but at the end of the day, you know what it's like when you get a drink and you mate, you're just you know, no. buzzing. Do you know what I mean? You don't really get a fuck about anything, do you know what I mean? At the same time, as you said, mate, see if Celtic like had won ten in a row, it'd have been the exact same thing. They turned out when their with their whole manager and all that went to fight with Polis, do you know what I mean? Aye, so, they they were the first set of fans in Scotland to break lockdown rules as what, what yeah, I don't understand for Celtic fans, I've tried to just ignore everyone for them over the weekend, try and enjoy it for Rangers' point of view, but for, for the fact they're taking high ground days, I thought we wouldn't have done so-and-so, we wouldn't have done that. Like, mm-hmm. I'm I'm in belief that if Celtic won 10 in a row, it would have been even worse than the uh-huh. celebrations Rangers um, had at the weekend, honestly. It's just, it's, it's hypocritical because they've already done something similar. See, the thing is, I know, mate, Wait, wait until this tournament rolls around the summer and watch the praise for Scotland. See if Scotland go far in it. Fans gather in the street to hang with Scotland. Yeah. Like, He's a fuck about Scotland. See at the end of the day, we're going to get out in the group. Live with it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Nobody cares about international football. We're all honest with it. Do you know what I mean? This is, it's, it was going to happen one way or the other by any road for a set of fans. Do you know what I mean? More so, do you know what I mean? The fact that for both of them, it's a massive season. Do you know what I mean? For us, 55. For them, 10 in the road. Do you know what I mean? So listen, obviously we don't condone breaking memorial benches or hang me, do you know what I mean? I've seen a lot of fans with masks on. I'm seeing reports of oh, no fans had masks on. I'm seeing people having masks on. You're not going to have social distance when you're doing that kind of thing, do you know what I mean? I don't know, mate. It is, everyone's going to have their opinion on it. At the end of the day, I'm just happy my team's won the league. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and, and that's similar to me. I, I just wanted to start that the episode off with that to get it out of the way because I wasn't one that to take back for what we've achieved as a club, but... And I feel like that's what it's doing at the moment. Um, I've, I've seen reports of the old firm game and everyone getting cancelled in a few weeks oh, due to this. But it's, mate, it's, it's, it's how the media cover it. You've seen the, the media hang me when, do you know what I mean, Liverpool or something. When the, do you know what I mean, when the league, Liverpool fans gather and celebrate winning their first league title in how long? I don't, yeah, do you know what I mean, when it comes to us, as, as we say all the time, mate, nobody likes us because we're Rangers. So, see, to be honest with you, I don't really hang me. Do you know what I mean? My team's won. Alfredo's going nuts. I'm loving it. Gerard's sliding in the changing rooms. I'm <laughs> loving this content. I can't wait for the Amazon documentary because it's coming. I feel like we're getting an Amazon documentary. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> nah, I hope it's day, coming. Mate, as, you say, as, you, as you say, like it's a pandemic. Obviously, you don't know what to see. Do you know what I mean? All that. But at the end of the day, I don't know, mate. It's just 10 years of hot they're celebrating when the first league title. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> nah, and, that, and that's it in a nutshell. We don't condone it, but we obviously fully no. understand that. I've been a Rangers fan all my life, so have you. I've I've just grew up we celebrating, hurting with Rangers. Just everyone has led up to this moment, obviously. But I I chose not to to go into George Square or anything like that to risk anything. Um, obviously I was working on the Sunday as well, sadly. But I, I had a decent decent few beers and everyone then. Um, uh, at uh, my girlfriend's house and stuff like that, so I'm happy with how I celebrated it anyway. And there's plenty more celebrations coming coming up in the future anyway, so we can get excited about that. Um, but going into um, the 55th league title win, we're actually sitting here saying this now uh, for August, sitting in my car uh, talking shit about Stephen Davis and Scott Arfield. We're <laughs> actually here. Um, we are league win under our belt now. Um, what basically what we set out for uh, to do at the start of the season. Uh, and what a season it has been so far. I mean, uh, that's my first sort of point. Um, we've we're obviously the same age, grew up all our lives together. Uh, this could possibly be the best experience we actually share watching Rangers uh, together this season. I mean, Evans went right, Evan over on the other side of Glasgow's <clears> went wrong. Um, just sum it up for me if you can. Um, I don't think I could make to be honest with you. As I say, <laughs> mate, We've gone for, do you know what I mean? We've grew up, do you know what I mean? The like, um, we've watched Rangers and we've watched, do you know what I mean? Getting absolutely smacked in the cup. Andy Halliday went to square goal with Graham Murray. Do you know right. what I mean? You've, you've seen it all, do you know what I mean? And you're thinking to yourself half the time, do you know what I mean? The fuck is going on with my club? But 
to say at the same time, I guess the moments were all worth it to get to where we've got to, do you know what I mean? Uh, if right. I say sum it up, mate, I don't think I could, do you know what I mean? It's it's just unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable, Jeff. Do you know what I mean? I can't no. I honestly can't believe it, mate. We've how much how much slagging did we take it, do you know what I mean? School after getting beat five one and Griffiths you know, holding my You know spin. what? If anybody from our school's actually watching this, I have got my my school shirt signed, and I'm sure somebody put uh, "Here we go, ten that on it." So I'm going to like look that out <clears throat> and see uh, if that has that on it because um, it will be getting sent to to whoever wrote it. So, um, <laughs> I we get actual our school life. Uh, when did we leave school? 2018. So we left as year our joined Rangers. But before that, that was just Selick winning. Evan, we were down the leagues. We were sh- we were shite, right? For our full high school life. Uh, so how we had to deal with that was obviously uh, annoying. Uh, it was hard to, to deal with Selick being that good at the time. But um, I, it's just, I can't sum up the season either. It's just, it's still no hit, hit home yet that we've actually went and um, done this. Um I just take my hats off to everybody involved. I said that in the, the instant match reaction to the St. Mum game. I take my hats off to everybody involved, uh, that being the fans who constantly support the club, buy season tickets, merchandise, whatever. Uh, the people following the numbers, even across the globe who can't go to the games, the staff, mm. uh, everybody, just the team involved with the club. Um, it's been such a, a team effort. Um, I think Gerard, as well as an advocate for that, you've seen him sharing these... Um, award that he got for the player the, no the manager of the month sorry with, with his full backroom staff and this is just a, it's a pure team um, effort well, there's not been one standout player this season uh, but it's just the team as a, a whole has just been consistent it's been collect, calm, cool and collected um, and I think that's <laughs> how you sum it up it's been a, a consistent um, consistent season Listen mate as you said me left school mate I remember the whole Slagging me got Gerard is a new manager. They can't even win what's it under 17 and under 16. So how's he going to win me use and all that? I remember the slaggings, you know what I mean? And all I have to say to those people is uh what's he what's he done now, mate? He's won a week. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> he won a week. Can he beat under Hingway? He's won a week, do you know what I mean? So that's what I'd say, do you know what I mean? Listen, I don't know, mate. I'm just still in shock. I can't believe we've actually went and done it. As you say, team effort. The full team's been solid mm-hmm. this season. Obviously, there's no one standout, but if there's one or it comes to your mind, you know, there's been individuals who over no, periods of time have proven. <clears throat> but I mean, for me, constantly throughout the season, Connor Goldson has been the the rock, as we've said. Do you know what I mean? He's been solid all season. I think defensively, we've been been fantastic. Um, do you know what I mean? So even do you know what I mean? Players who haven't gotten any players, do you know what I mean? As we said, Greg Stewart. Do you know what I mean? He sat there. He's do you know what I mean? Been patient. He's probably trained hard. He got his opportunity. Came on. He looked absolutely no. decent. Did Greg Stewart? Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So it's attitude just a whole round the club for players who aren't even getting a chance to, do you know what I mean, the players who are starting. So it's just fantastic attitude to win a league title, mate. Aye. And I talking about where we have came from then, it seems like I wasn't, like, it just seems like a different lifetime ago that um, we were lining up with Kevin Kyle, Sandaza up front, all the kind of things. Like we've came, came that far, a timeline of it, obviously getting past the first two divisions we ease. Then we go up to the championship. I remember being at that game. Um, we were 1-0 down to Hearts. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Danny Wilson that scored as well. Um, 90 minutes, Nicky Law scored. And then I wasn't even in the stadium at the point I had left. And then you're like, oh, yeah, so Nicky Law won each in the first game of the season. And then Osman So went up and scored for Hearts to win 2-1. Um, that was that was <laughs> the start of that season. And they just get bad to worse that season. Um what even happened? Stuart McCall came in. McCall, um, we lost the playoffs six one in aggregate to Motherwell. We then bring in Mark Warburton. Aye, yeah, I below Mosley actually. Aye, we then bring in Mark Warburton, uh, Davy Weir. We get our house in order a, a little bit. Get promoted, beat Celtic in the cup. Obviously, fall short at Hibs. Um, we're up in the Premiership. We draw one each in the first game with Hamilton. Matt Warburton only last year, about September or something like that. For, or maybe he was, it was into the new year. I can't even remember. Uh, Pedro Cassinha comes in. Uh, at a point, Graham Murray was the manager. Pedro Cassinha was there for like 250 days max, I think. Um, 
in 2018, uh, Stephen Gerrard came and it changed all their fortunes. I think that changed pretty much every sort of outlook at, at Rangers. He cleared a lot of deadwood, got his own men in to help him out. Obviously, it's his first proper management job and it's at Rangers. Like, could you really get mm-hmm. any bigger than that for your first management job? Um, and I, he's just completely installed a, a different mentality into the players that were there and maybe left coming seasons after to the players that are still there. You look at Tavernier, he was in uh, those teams under all the managers I just spoke about. Um, was a standout at times. Sometimes he wasn't as good defensively and stuff. I remember calls Lee Hodgson <laughs> starting over him and all that kind of thing. Um, and Alfredo Morelos and all, he's the most hated man in Scotland by every other support other than Rangers. And he's just... He's had to deal with every single bit of it. And you've seen his uh, celebrations. I mean, that was the best thing about the weekend for me was just Alfredo Morelos going mental. Aye. No, it was the best thing about it, mate. Absolutely love the passion for Alfredo, as you say, mate. The ups and the downs of all you know what I mean? As I said, I, I, I honestly, that's what I'm worried about. See, when we were at school, man, do you know what I mean? You're thinking yourself, oh, we've got a chance here, do you know what I mean? We Barry McKay scores <laughs> a yell to the goal, do you know what I mean? But no, I don't know, man. We've just, we've went through thinking we could win the league, do you know what I mean, with Mark Wilburn to actually win it with Steven Gerrard, which is just, since it, do you know what I mean? It's not think Gerrard's your manager still. I still pinch myself, like, how's he a manager of the Rangers? Aye. Aye, I know. It's just crazy, mate, do you know what I mean? I think, as you say, you think you're the abuse we've took, as I say, off with pundits and everything, do you know what I mean? So many pundits that would, put us down and say we were only, do you know what I mean, good enough, Gerard won't last and all this and that. We've just proved them wrong, do you know what I mean? That's what mm-hmm. I love about it. If it was mouthing off about a club, do you know what I mean, saying we were done, we were finished and that. As McCoystey said, do you know what I mean, we were only going to be down there for long, do you know what I mean, we were going to have our, our glory days again, do you know what I mean? So I'm just so proud, man, honestly. No, and I'm proud. <laughs> the glory days, obviously, they took a, a little bit longer than everybody would have wanted, but... I mean, when it when it eventually is here, it's just unbelievable to be back on top of Scottish football again, and just in the manner we've done it this season, it just it just feels different. I am um, the team we've got for a start um, is unbelievable. Even looking at it, uh, you look at the play, kind of talent we've got in that team: Yanis Hadji, Kima Roof, Morelos is your striker options. Ryan Kent in there as well. You've got talent such as fucking um, Joe Aribo, Glenn Kamara, who are just absolute Rolls Royces in the middle of the park. Stephen Davis, yeah. Al McGregor, Bonner Barisic, Connor Golson. We've just, it's took us three years and it's took Gerard three years to finally find what works um, for this Rangers team. And it's clicked and it's just clicked amazingly this season. Um, <coughs> and I, I, I don't know what Gerard's biggest signing is. Uh, I've seen a lot of it. Uh, being Michael Beal, uh, actually, in the backroom staff, because obviously him being a, a a coach at Sao Paulo, I think, in Brazil, also at Liverpool, uh, I think, as well, with him. And he gets the team playing uh, the way we do. So I think hats off to, to Michael Beal. And I think even Stephen Gerrard's first sign as he walked in the door, Al McGregor, uh, is a massive one. Uh, I don't know about yourself. I uh, know, listen, I think the whole thing with Gary McAllister as well, do you know what I mean? He's got experience from my boys, do you know what I mean? He- Get to play off finals and everything, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Player. I also played for Liverpool as well, do you know what I mean? There's experience there. But I just think, do you know what's the thing, mate? We've we've gone through Hank, remember my head, what was it? Zalalem and all that, what was his name? But no, you're right, no, Zalalem. If you having him, I think he was a baller to actually having a true baller and Glenn Kamara and Joe Aribo. Those are real ballers, man. Remember the days where you'd be like, oh, he's such a good player. How's he know Hingley for Arsenal? No. Do you know what I mean? You had, do you know, who's the other boy we had that was that, what was it, Hyman, wasn't it? Yeah, Emerson Hindman, aye. The funny, do you know what's the funny thing? I think that both of them are in America now playing football. That's no, I think about, do you know what I mean? Um, no, but listen, I think McGregor, massive, 100%, back staff. I just think Gerard's done it proper. He's got people behind him who have more experience, who can help him in situations that are obviously difficult. And as I say, Gerard's always, Gerard is always a good man in front of the media. He can handle the pressure, he loves it, he thrives off it. I loved his interview after the after the game straight away saying, look, listen, I'm already thinking about next. I want I want more. Do you know what I mean? Um, so Liverpool fans, get your hands off because he's going nowhere, son. He's, uh, <laughs> he's here to stay. Because honestly, mate, I, I really don't know where it began. Do you know what I mean? I can't really seem to know it. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I just know it's going wrong. Um, 
Do you know no. what I mean? I was trying to get any sweet Caroline there, but I won't. I won't do that. I won't <laughs> come into a song there. No, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, I, mate. I think it was... that's the biggest fear I've got. Actually, is uh, Liverpool so sweet my movie fears, but um, I, I hope not. No, I, I don't think he will, man. I I did be in the dates to get rid of Klopp. Um, I just think about the ex players as well. As I say, it's it's. Do you know what I mean? The team that are on the now have played sensational all season. I think about the players that helped get us there. I think about the likes of Lee Wallace and do you know what I mean? Lee Lee McCulloch and all them that do you know what I mean? Took pay cuts and everything. To stay and, and help, do you know what I mean? You think about, you think about having Dean Shields, mate, your favourite player at the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> no. I, you, honestly, you think about all these players because every single one of them played their part. I, I, I watched them, um, it was a Sky, Sky Sports video uh, package basically on how Rangers came back in 155. And it was starting off at the, the games, uh, the first ever game we had uh, was at Breakin. And the ball was going over and stuck in the hedge and all that. And our first league game was two each. We had to salvage a point at Peterhead. Kevin Kiley, all men, uh, was the man. Uh, I think it was Andy Little to get the rebound or something, but involved in that one. Um, and you've got to also take into account the, the men who are no longer with us. Uh, Sandy Jardin obviously played a bit, massive part in uh, getting us our club back. We protests and marches and all that so um, Sandy Jardin played a big part and obviously a couple of players down the divisions as well uh, Marius Aliukas played his part and Arnold Peralta as well both sadly not uh, no longer with us so um, there's plenty plenty of players uh, that we can thank there'll probably be a list going about at the end of the season uh, about all of them but every single one of them and then even for last season Andy Halliday is who Gerard even mentioned in his uh, press conference you, you take your hat off to him um, and I just everybody involved in the past 10 years. Um, thank you, <laughs> exactly. No, 100%. I echo those thoughts, mates. You know what I mean? You just have to thank everyone that, that did everything they could to help get our club back to where it, it belongs. You know what I mean? Uh, I honestly, I can't. I just remember sitting at I'm just thinking about remembering that. Do you know what I mean? When you sit at school and everything's going on about fucking knowledge, Jason Cummins is going to be class up here. <laughs> we were nothing at the time, man. We were uh, honestly, how. How much in our tussle are we? Do you know what I mean? No, I just, I really can't believe that we've won this league, mate. Do you know what I mean? But we've done it. Still, obviously, there's still business to be taken care of. Do you know what I mean? Still a chance to win Scottish Cup. Mm-hmm. Get the Czech Dons to play. Um, I look forward to playing them. I really do look forward to it. I mean, the team might still be hungover, to be honest. Aye, um, Aye that's, what I was, that's what I was going to say. Al McGregor didn't look... Um... Healthy anyway, if you've seen the video of him in the back of the motor, he's just, he's hanging, he can't even hold his, uh, his head up, man. He's <laughs> expect that for him right enough. Um, I don't know if he'll even make it on Thursday. Uh, same with Ryan Jack, obviously he's still injured, but he was absolutely blotto by the looks of it. He was posting still game clips. Uh, he was saying love you on the Rangers post and all that. You just, it's surreal. And it's just, uh, you just love seeing all these videos. I've not looked at one video and not smiled through the full weekend. And just all, the group of players for what they've had to deal with the past couple of years being together, and this is what they deserve uh, for their efforts. It's just, it's surreal. I, to, I feel like we sometimes repeat our own points uh, the night, but it is, it's totally uh, surreal. Know, no, it is surreal, do you know what I mean? Sorry if we sound like Gilbert and Idiots, do you know what I mean? But I just, I'm all genuinely like, what the fuck's going on, do you know what I mean? Like, how's mm-hmm. my team winning? To win the league? But no, as you say, mate. We, the players were just absolutely hanging with I think the best one for me was Gerard, do you know what I mean? Just need to be humble and hang me and then he's sliding in the fucking chain room. Because I mind uh, I watched his uh, interview after we finished up a video and that and he was sitting talking about it. You could clearly see that he was emotional uh, throughout that one. And then there was a press conference, at least in all in his lab. We've just got to be humble. Uh, well, we're, we're not there yet. Uh, We've got a game on Thursday. I was expecting to say, and then you see him later on that night doing Klinsmans in the in the changing room, man. I'm like, what is happening? Uh, I just things like that, man. That that will they'll be ones for years and years to come that you'll look back on um, and be very happy watching. But um, I that, that that's maybe my next point is is this Rangers team now class legends, even no matter how. Smaller, bigger part they played. Brandon Barker, Jordan Jones, Edmondson, they all went out on loan, but they still played their part um, in the season, uh, if you could say so. I would say they're, they're definitely rising. I definitely say 
Especially Greg Stewart. Come on, how's Greg Stewart not a legend? No, I, Greg Stewart Greg will always be a legend. Aye, come on. Uh, no, I, I definitely say the team is, do you know what I mean? 100%. 100% of legends, you know what I mean? This is something that, do you know what I mean? I think when we're, do you know what I mean? Me and you are, do you know what I mean? L men will be talking about Gerald mm-hmm. saying me and how Gerald made us feel, do you know what I mean? The same way my, do you know what I mean? My granddad goes on about Don Revy and Barry Bremner and all that, do you know what I mean? I think this is just way we'll go on about Stephen Gerald came up by the way when we were younger mm-hmm. and he fucking made us all smile and fall on in love with football again, do you know what I mean? Because we've had some absolute. I remember everyone with Pedro, mate. Do you remember when he came in and he spat off facts and he was like, this guy seemed like a serious... Do you know what I mean? Aye, see, I, actually, that was in that Sky Sports video I was talking about. See see the thing, he, he had Angels fans' heart at that point. See, because we've dealt with so many frauds and people that didn't know the club. See, as soon as he sat down, he was like, uh, 54 league title. Like, just, he, <laughs> like, that's all he said, and Angels fans were like, yeah, Pedro. Like, but... Aye, I, I get what you mean. Just like things like that. As soon as he sat down, they took to him, and then it was, no, was it? no long after that he was sacked. But what's the game that Andy Halliday was going on about where he played? Who was it he played out of position or something? He ended up playing someone somewhere. It's like I can't even remember. He was talking about it on open goal. Well, he made three substitutions aye, or something. Yep, yeah, I I know what one you're talking about. So I was actually at that game and all. It was Motherwell at home. We were one 0 down. Um, half time. I think the back four was, <clears throat> sorry, um, it was Clint Hill, Tavernier, Wallace, no, maybe Declan John, I can't even mind, um, and Rob Kiernan. So you had your back four as it was at the time. He took off Tavernier for uh, Michael O'Halloran. He took off um, he took off Clint Hill for Joe Garner, and he took off Lee Wallace for Andy Halliday. So your back four at half time was Michael O'Halloran at right back. John Terrell at centre back, he moved in. Gio Garner played further up. Uh, Rob Kiernan and Andy Halliday, who had never played left back at the time, was was at left back. So, I that was just one ludicrous thing he had done in his time. What about uh, Big Carlos, mate? Thank you. Uh... Carlos Pena, he's an old guy. Look, <clears throat> he's, he's, he's heavily criticised and just made a meme out of everybody. But uh, he, he, he played his part in all, didn't he? Aye, even though I probably was drinking everyone's booze, do you know what I mean? Aye. I can't believe he came smelling a booze. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't surprise me. Honestly, it doesn't surprise me. Um, but aye, like this, this Rangers team for me and for you and for everybody that's witnessed it, it's going to go down as like the teams my dad tells me about in the 90s and all these kind of players that, like, I wonder if we'll talk about um, Alfredo Morelos. Like he talks about Gaza, like for instance, no comparing the two at all, but uh, for different time periods, obviously, um, we look back on this Rangers team and it would just be like what a time that was to to support the club, what an achievement that was at the time. Um, and but that's, uh, <clears throat> that's what I'm on about, mate. See when the fans go into the town and are celebrating. Do you know what I mean? That's why they're doing it. It's they'll. Their team's done, do you know what I mean? They've made, they're making memories and all that, do you know what I mean? They're not doing it to be disrespectful to, do you know what I mean? The NHS or anything mm-hmm. like that, do you know what I mean? They're doing it because their team's winning the league, do you know what I mean? They're not thinking about anything else. They're just wanting to celebrate because they're so happy that it's, I don't know, mate, it doesn't matter at the end of it, but it does, but at the end of the day, no, it does. And we are talking about something, do you know what I mean? <clears> Boys, no, I'm talking about me, you know, when we're all men and then the, the care home looking at the window, do you know what I mean? Like Robert Lee going, <laughs> Irishman. Um, no, a hundred percent will. Do you know what I mean? This team will be legendary, mate. This team, it. I just think the way that we're we're going on about. Do you know what I mean? The way the media are going on about it. Do you know what I mean? It's just the way they're trying to paint the bad brush. It's like the same way they're doing with that mad Megan Bird and all that. Do you no. know what I mean? Like, but see when the, see when they're trying to, they've always got a fucking angle to paint it. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, doesn't really hang with us. We're going to remember this team. We'll remember the positives. Do you know what I mean? Some of the sensational goals that have been scored this season, do you know what I mean? I just we will remember all the positives about it, do you know what I mean? That's what I'll say. No, we will. We'll remember every positive that comes our way. We'll remember every time we sat down here and done a done a team prediction. And I, I wanted Zungu right. in the team, but nobody else did. Um, ah, well, thank you for having me seen that again, mate. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have things like that, obviously, to look back on. And I, this team. It will go down as one of the teams we look back on. We tell whoever uh, is in our life 20 years down the line about. Um, 
And this probably uh, leading on to the next point is the biggest league win. Not even I'll see, but um, older fans will see as well because you look at the struggle, you look at the comeback, we were nearly down and out. The fans uh, and everybody gathered the club and lifted it up um, to get us back to where we are. And um, I don't think like, I don't think we'll ever see a story like it again uh, in our lifetime anyway. Um, it's definitely going to be the biggest league uh, at the Rangers ever won in my lifetime and probably yours. Yeah, I mean, I'm not unless I go into a different dimension and they've been 10 in the road, you know what I mean? Well, you uh, never no. know, the Marvel Universe is setting up, mate. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, uh, 100%, mate. 100%. It's the biggest, it's the biggest title win. Do you know what I mean? You, you think about the title wins when we were younger, do you know what I mean? And you you, re, you can remember them. You remember, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Every day having a hang. But this is a proper one that you can, like, full on mm-hmm. remember. Do you know what I mean? I've never felt more happier in my life after that whistle was blown. Do you know what I mean? With Dundee and Selig, do you know what I mean? That was sensational, no. the buzz I got after that. Do you know what I mean? Still buzzing through, obviously, the previous day, but I 100% mate, this is going to be something. As we keep iterating, mate, do you know what I mean? That we'll remember. It's the same with my real man, looking at the window like Robert De Niro. And just <laughs> been like, that might be, Gerard was a man. Uh, do you know what I mean? Aye, aye, definitely. It's just like you kind of keep a smile off your face at times. It's just it's that good to to think back, um, like that weekend there, like, and then Evan that's to come up. I mean, we're we're sitting here as if the season with no games to play. Like we've we've still got an active season currently to finish. Uh, we've to finish on a high, obviously. Uh, one game, uh, old firm game before the split. Six six games to then hopefully get an invincible season out of it as well. I mean that would be. That would be monumental if that came to fruition. We've got Europa League still to play for. We've got Scottish Cup still to play for. I mean, there's still plenty plenty of things for this team to play for uh, in the upcoming months before the season is down and out. Um, but the main objective was getting this league over the line. And I'm happy that we have got it over the line now because obviously looking back on it, you were buzzing a couple of days ago. But as I've took time to sit, reflect and p- prepare this episode, I've... Um, I felt like there's a lot of, of football left. There's a lot of achievements for this team to still to get, uh, and I hope they get, uh, because every single one of them deserves um, deserves it, and there's no better time to focus on Europe than now. I mean, we've got nothing else holding us back, obviously, apart from the, the league, which is wrapped up, but we would like to go invincible. But we've got a massive European run in front of us now. Uh, 100%, mate. As, as I said to you, it's just, it was just about getting the job the job done and as, as I say we've got a massive game Thursday do you know what I mean a real, a real team that really do you know what I mean a real challenge I feel mm-hmm. like we're a real especially after do you know what I mean Morelos leaving we a bottle of, a bottle of the bubbly do you know what I mean yeah, still right. half of them still hanging about so I just, imagine we beat them and we're still half of them are still buzzing I'd love that mate do you know I what know. I mean still buzzing after head and they beat them Still, I don't even know, mate. We're on here talk shit, do you know what I mean? But end of the day, do you know what I mean? We've got half a season left. Let's do no. the business. Let's get invincible. I'd like to go invincible and then go for 10 a row, do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know, mate. I'm just I'm just, hope, just hoping we can get a positive run. I want a big team, as I said to you. I want a big man. And Manchester, Spurs, somebody like that. He's a big team, do you know what I mean? Even if even we go out, I want that just to have that big, do you know what I mean, feel. Mm-hmm. Shut a couple of people up in there in England, I think. Gerard still has to prove himself. Do you know what I mean? Beyond, do you know what I mean? No. Do you know what I mean? Because when your league's interesting, do you know what I mean? Your big games aren't nil nils or exactly. You know I mean? Oh my god, I know, I know. That's a, that's a different topic for a different day. But aye, a um, day. aye. I, yeah, I don't know. I was going to ask you. Sorry, I question. See, uh, players that have obviously that only at the club, but you, you were as we were talking, you were talking about. Um, Players that are on the club, but you have like a soft spot for like for me, obviously. I'm going to say Daniel Kinde. I remember we both loved Daniel Kinde's film, he was a bit hanging to, to go. But like, for yourself, like, who are some of, some of them for you like, that you no. like, hold in fond, fond light? Do you know what I mean? Because also, Aye. Wes is here for me. Do you know what Aye. I mean? Like, I hold Wes, even Aye, though he's, when he's I look back, me some of the, the thing with the goals that were scored into him, I think he could, you know what I mean, McGregor saving him, do you know what I mean? That's why mm-hmm. he get panned out, but I still have a lot of love for the guy, do you know what I mean? Nah, I mean, there's plenty to, to look at. Um, necessarily players that 
obviously played their part, but weren't ultimately good enough to stay here for this season. Um, I do think he was forging him. Uh, I think he Andy Hardy, of course. Um, I think he, who else? Jason Cummings, uh, of course. That was a massive signing at the time. Um, one that I think everybody was just buzzing for him to do well, but it never really quite worked out the way it, uh, we all wanted it to. Greg Doherty, Ross McCrory, uh, players like that who never... Uh, I mean, Ross Clint McCrory Hill, got man. his chance. Quinn Hill. Uh, even, like, Declan John was a fucking half-decent player in his day, by the way. Like, he was all right. Um, but I think, like, they're Rangers fans. Like, uh, I've, had, I've added, like, Ross McCrory and Greg Doherty, players like that. Um, I don't know if there's anyone else. For, do you know Florian Camberry actually? Um, Florian Camberry is one for me. I thought he'd done really well last season and a, a really poor run. I would have loved to have seen him. Uh, if I don't think he would have been good enough personally this season for the, the way we are, but I would have loved mm-hmm. to have seen him ge- been getting a shot because uh, he performed really well and that was when I was kind of gutted not to see it happen. But ah, there's plenty. There's plenty. Um, Aye, I don't know if it was MD. Was you think MD? Yeah, uh, I thought off in my head. No, I can't think MD. Do you know, uh, Martin Marcon, Martin Marcon. Aye, Do you know what I mean? No, no, that uh, what's his name? That uh, Joey Gardner. I, I hated Joey Gardner. Man. <laughs> All he did was dive about and look for a scrap. Do you know what I mean? Uh, obviously, like you think about Wallace and that. Do you know what I mean? It would be nice mm-hmm. to see him come back and. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, the way it ended for him is a bit heartbroken. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean, guys? Gave everything for the club. Um, he's done it with Queen's Park Rangers, the fake Rangers, isn't it? Nah, he is, um, right. <laughs> I'm joking. No, but players like Daniel Kandace, mate, just, like I was saying, man, like, love that boy. Do you know what I mean? I was happy to get a goal when he said, like, um, you say Ross McCrory, I know, I know, obviously, he's at Aberdeen and that, but he did get his chance. Mm-hmm. He just wasn't there. I might say he wasn't up to their level, do you know what I mean? But whatever happened to him happened, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Greg, he said, Doc, you know, and all that, but it's good to see them that they've gone away and they're playing well and that, do you know what I mean? Obviously, there's fans and that, but mm-hmm. it doesn't mean they get to stay in the club just because they're a fan, do you know what I mean? Like, do you know what? Uh, the, the, maybe the, I know, I, I, I mind mean that time when we just signed 100 Rangers fans actually and just thought, oh, we'll win the league with that. But <laughs> um, maybe the top of my list actually uh, will be Kyle Lafferty. Actually, uh, I forgot all about him when he came back. I was so buzzing for him to hopefully succeed under Gerard, but it just he's so he's too much of a daft, isn't he? he to really uh, knuckle down. He needs to get the goal in, in Europe. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, do you mm. know what I mean? That's what I mean. But he was, as you say, mate, he was, he was a bit of a, a, bit of a dafty, but with a player, though, do you know what I mean? Class mm-hmm. forward. Nah, that was probably top of my list. I'm, uh, I wish it really did work out for him. Um, but, yeah, uh, yeah, so, you know what else I remember? Mm-hmm. I remember the days when FD was calling for, what's it, Beerman? Like, mm-hmm. We might was oh, I'll get him in a team he's saying with. Nah. I remember the buzzing about him and everything. Aye, that's fucking, that's dark, dark days there. That's Graham Murray era, man. Fuck me. We were struggling to beat MD at that time. So, similar to our, Falls over on the other side of Glasgow at the moment, uh, with the way they're going. But aye, uh, to, to answer your question, that all the players uh, that I came came up with there, the players I loved at the time, and I, I couldn't be more happy. Obviously, see them still playing and hopefully making improvements with their career. But players I do wish were a bit better at Rangers because um, I really backed them all. Aye, aye, probably big Bruno Alves now. I shat it for you, Hunter's old thumb games, but every time an old thumb <laughs> came around, he was, oh, gaffer, oh, my yeah, hamstrings away. Every time. He's probably, un- he he comes under disappointment uh, so ah, with Joey him. Barton. Joey Barton, nah. Uh, the two of them come under Straight that category. Straight away out your mouth, Joey Barton's the first one that comes <laughs> to mind. Talk to Big King, mate, and then, do you know what I mean? His boys get cut off, do you know what I mean? So, aye. 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 French accent now. I know, you know I mean? he's a V2, he's a V2, but um, I don't know what else we've actually got to talk about. I've brought up Evan for, for the journey, for the players that have been involved, for this season, for, to Gerard, to, to who we've loved in the past. Um, is there anything else you would like to, to ask or put on this episode? Um, what I would say is I'd, I'd thank MD for 
for just listening, do you know what I mean? Because we've just talked for the heart today, mate. Just talked passion, do you know what I mean? It might have been. Remember, we see, that's what I was going to say. Remember, we seen that, that. No, I don't think we did. That Fraser Airboy was it or something? We seen him in a shop or something. I remember it. I don't know. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. I just keep my head there. Right? It doesn't matter. <laughs> What I would just say is I appreciate MD who's watched the video obviously for this thing. We get yourselves involved in the, the giveaway, obviously, and I hope you've celebrated, kept yourselves nice and safe mm-hmm. because it's it is party time. But let's keep ourselves sta- safe and remember that we're still in a, a pandemic. But at the end of the day, fifty-five Jack, we're going for ten, so let's uh, let's <laughs> do this. Thing. Aye, aye, aye. It's it's here. Fifty-five is here. Um, we're partying. For, for weeks, months to come all the it's way into the Euros. Sweet Carolina at the end of this. All oh, right, I'll two things get my mics up, man. Right, no, I, I, that's for another time. Don't worry. Um, I will. I, I that's about that's about the episode. To be honest, didn't really plan anything out for us. I just wanted to speak on our thoughts. I don't know how good or bad it will sound, but if you want to leave us some feedback, uh, messages over on Twitter, put a comment in the the section on the YouTube video version of the podcast. And um, I that's ever I've got to say, oh, Rangers yeah, are no. champions. I was going to say as well, we Jimmy Bell, we love you, love you, son. No, nah, Jimmy Bell, uh, we'll see 10 in a row, so I that that worked out well. I Jimmy Bell, uh, to uh, what everybody like, who's been asked, like Tav, he's been asked on the dinner ladies, the physios, every, every single person involved with Glasgow Rangers, uh, enjoy it, um, because I have been. And all Lewis has been as well. Um, oh, definitely. I've been swallowing the old caffeine. Um, caffeine shampoo. shampoo? Oh, you won't be around for long if you're fucking scrambling that. I wouldn't do that, obviously. Um, but I, Glasgow Rangers are champions. Uh, we're back. Um, and it's been an all over the place episode, but I don't really care. I really wanted to just get every emotion, thought, whatever out there and I appreciate uh, you for coming on again um, but that is the podcast we will be back uh, tomorrow now uh, we didn't get to talk about our usual sort of format where we talk about the, the upcoming games and such just wanted to let this be a strictly uh, Rangers we are champion sort of podcast so I will be back uh, on Wednesday for the preview to uh, the Slavia Prague game which doesn't even seem like it's even that that soon <laughs> team are still all wasted so we'll see how that one goes but I will right, we'll be back for that on Wednesday and uh, if you like this video um, subscribe to the channel uh, get involved in the giveaway over on the Twitter as well and we'll see you for that video so cheers <laughs>